WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial trading down 908. Nasdaq's off uh, 476. S&P's down uh, 116. And when you take a look at the uh, S&P, folks, okay, this is a decisive break. You know, wide price spread, accelerated volume already. If you take a look at the S&P, what you're going to see, you're down 11 bucks right now. Bottom line, we're at 430. This market wants to go to 404. So we're talking some heavy business here. Uh, this, was, uh, th this is everything that uh, the market probably should have done. Uh, anyway, but you, you have price, you have volume, you have all of the above. Gold, gold contract up eleven dollars forty cents, trading at seventeen sixty two. We got silver down fifteen cents, twenty two dollars eighteen cents. Light sweet crudes off a buck fifty eight, seventy dollars thirty nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, the ten years down fifteen, up fifteen ticks, rather one thirty three oh eight. You have the thirty year up a full point plus eight ticks at one sixty three twenty seven. The ten year is now yielding one point three zero. And we have the Fed meeting this week. And guess what, folks? Okay, the bottom line is that you are talking about higher price, lower rates coming at us in a monster way. King dollar. King dollar is up 77 ticks, trading at 93,272. Uh, we'll see whether it can uh, hold price. Uh, it looked like it wanted to get to the highs this morning, but then it gave it up on price. Um, Percentage-wise out here, what we have is this. You have the uh, Dow Industrials off 2.5, S&P's 2.6. And the Nasdaq 3. That's kind of uh, set up uh, what Europe did out here. And there's a lot of action. One of the biggest actions, folks, uh, is in China, Evergrande. Uh, bottom line, that is going to uh, hit some contagion in a monster way. We'll see when the Chinese government steps in. They're going to step in. It's really My take is they're going to step in. The real question is going to be when they step in. They step in um, right now, and it's going to be like, oh, it's status quo, uh, just like our you know, uh, Bernanke put that, okay, they save the market, or they wait till later, and they basically, uh, most folks get wiped out. And what we will see is this. We'll find out what funds in the U.S. are involved in the debt markets in China. Because that's, most times when you get a hit like this, and what's going on in China, folks, is this. Evergrande is the largest developer in the world. They're 2% of the GDP of China, okay? They're going south. They are, they've already gone south. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.